Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from SegaCDUniverse.com and GravesideEntertainment.com. Today I'm going to do a video response to a YouTube friend of mine who's very good, does great content. Um, his name is Dreamcastic Channel. Um, his name, he calls himself PC. He used to have a channel called PC Wizard 13 if you've ever heard me mention him before. I'm going to put his, his uh, link down in the description if you want to check him out, he's excellent. So he had asked the question, um, what do you own that really isn't worth much, but you're hoping or think will be worth something someday? So I tried kind of like thinking about what I had. Um, ma mainly most of the stuff I have that I kind of think will be worth something is really just normal releases. Like, I'm kind of thinking for some reason Virtue's Last Reward on the on the uh, Vita will be worth something. But I don't, you know, it, it, it's obviously mass produced. It's just such a weird niche game or niche game. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff like that, like Blackthorn on the 32X. I was like, oh, I have it in the box. It's, that's worth at least $30 or $50 right now. It's probably going to just keep going up because it's, you know, it's cartridges and stuff. And I was like, I don't know. Let me, let me try and find stuff that's a little more weird. Um, I used to work at GameStop years ago as a teenager and a little into my early 20s. And um, I had a ton of promotional items, little discs. And I remember at one point I had this Nine Inch Nails promo CD they handed out with something. I don't even know what it was for. And they were throwing them all out. And I was like, you never handed these out, you know? And they were like, well, we don't really need them. So I took them, and then I looked on eBay, and, like, they were all going for, like, 20 or $30 a piece. For, like, it was, like, two songs on one disc. But I guess what it was was if you were a Nine Inch Nails collector, and they never released these tracks on anything else, I guess. I don't know. Um, so I ended up selling a couple. But I also had a ton of posters and standees. And at one point, I won two contests, and I wish I had this still stuff still. Uh, I won two contests to Game Pro Magazine. I guess no one would read it anymore or would enter the contest or I would keep winning. One thing was to have my likeness drawn in a Ninja Turtles comic book by one of the artists, um, which I thought was awesome. So we sent in the photos, and nothing ever happened. We never got any response. They never said they got the photos, and I, from my knowledge, they never did the comic, they never contacted us, nothing. And then, like a year later, I contacted them, and they had no idea what I was talking about. So I was there, well, there goes that idea. Um, the other thing was, I had entered a contest, and I was a big Ultima Online fan, and um, I'm, I apologize if this video is trailing off a bit. I was a big Ultima Online fan when I was a kid, and I played for hours and hours, and gained a ton of weight, and just played Ultima Online. And... Um, I entered a contest for a poster, and it was signed by Brom. Um, Brom is like this dark kind of like fantasy artist. Very, very good stuff. I'm a big fan. And he did like an Ultima Online poster, which the poster wasn't my favorite. It was like a medieval setting with like a death in the background. And then it said, you know, Brom. And I had a friend who loved his work, and I said, you know what? You could have this if you like it. You know, I think you'd appreciate it more. And when she got rid of her posters before she moved, she forgot it was rolled up inside another one, and I'd gotten rid of it. So, I mean, if I had that now, I would have kept it and framed it. I feel stupid that I got rid of it, but, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty. So here's some stuff I just pulled out. The camera might move a little bit. Here's some stuff I just pulled out that I thought was kind of cool. Um, it's, you're probably going to look at it and go, like, well, who cares about this shit? But I'm hoping one day it's worth something. I just think it's kind of interesting nonetheless. So here we go. This I found that it's really dusty. It's still sealed, but the plastic's all beat up. This I found in a KB toy store years and years ago, way after the Genesis was dead. It was $1.99. I'd never seen this before. Um, I've heard numerous things. I've heard it's from Japan, but obviously the back is in English, and it says California, so it's not probably from Japan, or maybe it was initially made in Japan. Um, it's some weird Super Capcom Ped GS controller, as you can see. It looks like you hold part of it with one hand and then kind of push the buttons with the other. Um, there's a YouTube friend of mine named X Juggalo Rider 1991X who also has one and he uses it all the time. So I would assume it's been mass produced and it's not that big of a deal. But I had never seen one before and I thought it was kind of interesting. So I never took it out of the package though it was beat up when I bought it. So that's my first thing. The second thing, um, which I know again this was mass produced, but they seem harder and harder to come by these days. I have a uh, and my friend Keithy Huntington. You'll appreciate this. <clears throat> Sega CD official strategy guide. Um, this is a nice, fairly hefty Bible-sized book of um, all you know Sega CD secrets. There's little black and white photos with uh, hints and cheats and how to beat certain things. 
And I just thought this was really cool. I, I think I, I might have even been having trouble with games years ago, and I just wanted to refer to this instead of keeping looking on the computer. So this is really cool. This is Double Switch, one of the best games ever. So um, I noticed lately that strategy guys are just worth more and more money. Um, when I picked up Shenmue and Shenmue, not Shenmue, excuse me, Shenmue 2, uh, the guide, uh, that can kind of go a little high here and there. Um, I got the Omicron guide, I've seen that go for $10 to $15, which is what I got it for like 10 bucks to like 50 and I'm like, why would someone pay $50 for a strategy guide? But I guess they don't really make things in print much anymore, so you have to think that. Um, so this is the Sega CD official secret Prima game strategy guide. I thought this was really cool and I've always kept it and liked it and I enjoy the silly little old-fashioned Dino Riders-esque cover art. And finally, um, this one I've heard is worth something now, but I, I don't really know. I think I paid about 35 bucks for this. What this is is for the Sega Dreamcast in Japan, this is the Seaman Christmas Special. Um, if you don't know what Seaman is, it was a game where you had like a tadpole type thing, you raised into a human, uh, or not a human, but he was like a human-esque kind of fish, and he would speak to you and he would retain information and then spit it back at you or kind of like make his own insightful comments after the fact. Um, in the original game I got fairly far but then I screwed up and ran out of food and he ended up, you know, I just quit. So this was a promo item that was released both I think for sale for a limited time and in a Seaman red, really cool looking red Dreamcast with a Seaman logo on it. What it is is, um, and I have the whole thing here, it's two discs one in the slip case and one in a jewel case. Um, I'm not sure which is which, I forget. I think it says it on it. Message disc. Okay, so there's this, this is the Seaman message disc. And this is the Seaman, I think, presence disc, if I remember correctly. Let's take this out. I always hate these cases. They always, I always like to get them scratching shit up. Yeah, here's the presence disc, which is gray. And this also has uh, some little things in here. Whoa. Some uh, stickers. Yeah, some Seaman stickers. Now what this was, was for Christmas, this is like a big novelty item where you were able to, I think, go online, do something with the message disc, if I remember correctly, and then give someone the presence disc. And on here, it says here, message, you would write like, you know, to so-and-so, I love to Keithy Huntington, I love you very much, Merry fucking Christmas, boyo. And you would um, give this to them. They put this in their Dreamcast, and then you would um, they would go online, and your message disc would kind of coincide with their present disc, and give them a secret message online, and do all this kind of cutesy novelty stuff. And uh, it was supposedly very limited. You know, I, I picked it up initially. I bought from the guy just this, not realizing it was a whole set. And I said, wait a minute, there's more stuff to it? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, I want the rest of this stuff. And he was like, all right, give me an extra, like, 15 bucks. I think it was around 40. I think I paid around 40 bucks. I've heard it goes for much more than that. So I just thought it was cool. Uh, I like, I love Dreamcast. I love Sega stuff. So I figured if I can have something that's kind of interesting, fuck it, right? But, uh, yeah, so there's the Seaman Christmas Collector's Disc. And uh, that's it. Dreamcastic, thank you very much for uh, the question. I thought it was really cool. Because you always find people that say, well, what do you have that's worth something now? I like uh, questions that are a little different. So trying to find something that's worth, not worth something, that might be worth something in your head at least, is, uh, is interesting. So thanks guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from SegaCDUniverse.com and GravesideEntertainment.com. Be good.